Hello Libra, welcome to your reading for the week of March 3rd through March 9th. I'm Tiffany, here we explore the wisdom of the tarot. I read intuitively, offering general insights and guidance, encouraging you to take what resonates with you and to leave the rest. But before we get started, I want to go ahead and bless my decks of cards. Divine Spirit, bless these cards with your wisdom and light as I shuffle and draw. May your divine presence guide my readings and illuminate the paths of those seeking answers. So shall it be. All right, good people. Let's get started, Libra. Let's find out what Divine Spirit needs you to know for this upcoming week, Libra. If you didn't see the reading for you Libra from last week check it out I will link it in the cards as well as in the description below last week we were talking about a new career path drop in the comments did you have a career change last week or at least get the promotion or get the job offered drop that in the comments I would love to hear from you and if so congratulations all right divine spirit what does Libra need to know this week? We already had one card pop out from the Star Sea Oracle. I love this deck. Spirit, what does Libra need to know? Alright, let's see get this set for you Libra I'm just gonna turn over one card for you right now first we have earthed learning how to be human in the world but not of it Libra learning how to be human in the world but not of it mm-hmm Okay, we got two cards for that. Interesting. Interesting, very interesting. Hmm. The Magician and the Ace of Swords. Shadow card, Lovers. Points to fears or hopes. We'll get into that. Let's let's look at this first, though. So, learning how to be human in the world, but not of it, Libra. And then you have, if you can see here, you of course you are on this third dimension as we all are but you're in your own space you're in your own lane Libra right and you have this beautiful light white light surrounding you that is signifying you are protected Libra so with this we have the magician and the ace of swords this is this is absolutely beautiful so being in the world but not of it Libra we want to make sure that you are creating the life that you desire. That is what spirit is telling you, Libra. Create the life you desire. You don't have to go with the status quo. You don't have to follow the herd. Um, create the life of your destiny, of your choosing in the world, but not of it, Libra. And then we have the Ace of Swords. You're, keep your mind sharp. Keep your mind sharp. Use discernment, Libra. Don't just go with what's being told to you. Be discerning. Um, check into the information you are consuming. Make sure that you have an independent mind. Your individuality stands out with this Ace of Swords. So just being in the world and not of it. Spirit is telling you this is the life that you desire. You create the life you desire. You create your destiny. I love this for you, Libra. Let me get uh, clarifiers for these. The Magician and the Ace of Swords for you, Libra. Let's see what we got. Spirit, what else does Libra need to know? Something major. 
That magician card is super powerful, reminding you to create the life of your desire. Create your own destiny, Libra. And to be independent in your thoughts. Continue your individuality. Do not follow the herd in the world, but not of it. Spirit, clarify the magician for Libra, please. Mm, okay, we got the Three of Swords and the Queen of Cups with this Magician. Because you have not been creating the life of your desire, Libra, you have been allowing someone else to create your life and and tell you which direction to go without using your own individuality, without using your own uh, discernment because you've allowed others to tell you what your life is going to be and dictate what you should be doing and listening to what society says you should be doing at this time and place in your life at this age because you have allowed that to get into you and you've done that for so long, that path has led to heartache for you, Libra. It's led to heartache. So Spirit is telling you, create the life that you desire. Create your own destiny. And then with the Ace of Swords, absolutely sharp mind, uh, thinking for yourself, right? And then with the Queen of Cups, Spirit is telling you, Libra, that when you are a if when you keep your individuality and you choose the life of your desire and you create that life that you desire so deeply, it will bring you to a place into Queen of Cups energy. You will begin to you will begin to live a life of comfort and calm. There will be no confusion. You will know exactly what's coming for you because you're creating this life that you want so continue on this path create the life you desire in the world of, but not of it you are still a human being but you are an individual <clears throat> excuse me let's see what's next let's see what's next for you libra all right next we have Empathetic star seed, energetic sovereignty, absorbing what's not yours. Whoa, okay, Libra, this is just pointing back to that. This is pointing back to following someone else's orders, leading you to heartbreak, carrying a destiny designed for you. And it's not your plan. It's not your own of your own design, Libra. So you are absorbing what's not yours, what doesn't belong to you. Create the life that you desire and be a sovereign human being on this dimension, on this third dimension. Okay, Libra, what else do we have? This When you are sovereign in your energy, when you are an independent individual creating the life of your desire you come to a four of wands place you come to a place of joy celebration um perhaps even creating better relationships um could be even pointing to marriage but definitely you get to the next level of your life you get you're you're inspiring yourself at this point libra when you are not absorbing others energy and others plan for you when you decide no more I plan for myself all right let's clarify this four of wands wow wow Libra the emperor Ooh, this is you taking authority over your life Libra this I love this for you you are in full control you are in the driver's seat you are in the driver's seat, Libra, the emperor. I love that for you. That's big energy. That is authority. You are taking authority over your life. You are taking control over your life. You're no longer allowing others to choose for you. This, this is beautiful. Let's continue. What else does spirit need you to know? 
Earth School Life Lessons Soul Growth Study Higher Learning. I love this. Higher learning above the fray, above the clouds. That's what I'm getting for you. You are headed toward enlightenment, headed toward your higher self is what I'm getting from this for you. Spirit is allowing me to share that with you, Libra. Seven of Swords. Wow. Okay. Because life lessons. You have to learn life lessons, Libra, because there has been, you have been sold a lie. You have been sold a lie when you have allowed others to think for you. And that is why Spirit started off telling you, create the life of your desire. You will come out of heartache for following someone else's. A plan for your life, whether that be a parent or an older sibling or aunt or uncle or a friend from the neighborhood. This is a lesson for you. Life lessons. Learn your lesson. You've been betrayed, Libra, uh, by allowing someone else to decide and choose for you who you're going to be and how you're going to move in this world. So spirit is telling you to continue to push for higher learning. And that doesn't mean formal education. What I am feeling from that higher learning for you, Libra, is get to a place of enlightenment, get to a place where you trust your own intuition and you are able to hear from your higher self as you journey on this path of designing a life for yourself, Libra. And then you have the Knights, the Knight of Swords, Swift. This, this is Swift. You have to take action, Libra. You have to take action. Believe in the plan that you have for yourself because you are no longer allow yourself to be lied to or betrayed because you are in a school of higher learning. And that school of higher learning is the best school you could ever attend and be a student of. And that is the higher learning and the school of self. Get to learn your intuition, Libra. Get to know what your intuition feels like and sounds like, right? Swift action on your part, Libra, so that you can begin to create that life that you desire, that you begin to design your own destiny, okay? So this is swift action. Do not delay on this. This stops today. Someone else telling you how to live your life Libra, it stops today. This week, you are going to get into motion. The wheels will start turning. And once that train leaves the station, Libra, no one will be able to stop you. You have to. And, and this is the thing, because people know, <coughs> excuse me, people know. And they like the current you, right? They like the current you because they can tell you what to do. They can manipulate you to a degree, right? So people are, they, they are used to the current you. But what's going to happen and what Spirit is saying, you're going to have to defend your beliefs, your beliefs in yourself. You're going to have to defend your belief in yourself, Libra. To know that, yes, this is the right thing for me. I believe I am the one who knows what is best for me. So do not back down. Let's go ahead and check that shadow card that was on the bottom of the deck. You have the lover's shadow card points to either your hopes or your fears. So what I'm getting from this, you are going to come into... You are going to come into a divine union with your higher self. You're going to come into a divine union with your higher self, Libra. And this, again, is going to get that train in motion. It's going to catapult you toward the best life you've lived up until this point, And it will just continue to improve. So you are coming into union with yourself. You are coming into harmony with yourself. You are coming into love with yourself. And you are going to live a life of service to self first so that you are able to help others, Libra. This is so beautiful for you. Beautiful for you. I'm super excited for you. And what's coming for you, Spirit, has said this is happening for Libra. Nothing can get in the way. 
right Libra nothing can stand in your way you've got this there's nothing that can stop you well Libra I hope that this message has resonated with you and you find it useful on your journey. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Click the notification bell so you don't miss any upcoming videos that I have for you. I will see you soon. Until next time, bye-bye.